Hi, this is Dr. Vic Garadia giving a short presentation on the anatomy of knee arthritis. So a little basic anatomy here. This is a thigh bone right in here. This is the leg bone. And you have two different types of cartilage in the knee. There's the cartilage on the ends of the bone, this white cartilage that's on the end of the bone. It's a really hard, smooth cartilage. It's called articular cartilage. So if you're ever eating a drumstick and you see that white stuff on the end, that's cartilage. And it's nice and smooth, and that's what allows your joint to move smoothly. In between the two bones, so you got the femur here and the tibia here. So in between the bones, you have this other type of cartilage that you can't see real well here, but this little cartilage in here is called the meniscus. And the meniscus is a rubbery kind of cartilage, so it's more like a shock absorber. So the white hard cartilage is the articular cartilage, and you got the shock absorber in between. And unfortunately, as we age, that shock absorber, instead of being rubbery and soft, becomes a little harder and more brittle and easier to tear. And that can also lead to damage to the cartilage on the end of the bone. Here are some examples of when the cartilage is worn down to bone, but the surrounding cartilage is normal. So we call this a contained defect, which is different than osteoarthritis, where all of the cartilage is worn down. And it's more diffuse, as in this example, we see the model on the right that shows a lot of cartilage damage, which is all around the knee joint. And so we don't have any options to transplant cartilage in this case because we can't transplant a lot of different patches of cartilage throughout the knee. So for osteoarthritis, we have to look at other options for treatment. Arthritis is one of the leading causes of knee pain. And the type of arthritis that we're talking about is called osteoarthritis, which is the wear and tear type of arthritis where you get degeneration in a joint slightly different than rheumatoid arthritis and those conditions which are more systemic they occur throughout your body whereas arthritis osteoarthritis is really wear and tear of a particular uh, area so approximately 19 million people suffer from this so really one out of every five americans over the age of 40 and osteoarthritis is the leading form of arthritis causing disability worldwide and that, that is only going to get greater as our population and baby boomers uh, slowly get older. So it's almost like an epidemic. But osteoarthritis is a progressive disease like we talked about. So there's early stages of arthritis that are relatively mild. And in these cases, we might be able to go in arthroscopically and do surgery to address them before they get larger. Then we've got this mid-stage of arthritis, which is really about 40 to 50 percent of the people that have arthritis and so you're getting increasing pain you're starting to have mobility problems you might be getting some stiffness and swelling that's affecting some of the activities that you want to do you're still able to do most things but it's beginning to limit you and we catch it in this stage we might be able to do a partial knee replacement if you've failed conservative non-operative options so a partial option might be available to patients in this case. But when it becomes more severe and the arthritis is really all over the knee joint, then a partial is no longer an option and their only surgical option then is a total knee replacement. And so the first thing we do in the office is we take some x-rays. And so here's a relatively normal x-ray. And what we see here is space between the bones. But that's not really space. That's where that cartilage is. Cartilage doesn't show up on the x-ray, so when you have the space in there, that's a good sign because that's where the cartilage is. Now over here, you don't have to be an orthopedic surgeon to make this diagnosis. There's no cartilage there. It's just bone on bone, and the longer that goes, the bone will actually start rubbing away, and that's when you see people that start to get bow legs or knock knees as that cartilage starts to wear, I'm sorry, the bone starts to wear on itself. And then you begin to get deformity. 